We will create this registration form in Laravel and this login form using advanced authentication system. Let's go to the GitHub. This is the link where I have uploaded these registration and login forms. Please click this green button and download the zip file and unzip it in a folder like this. Then open your folder where we have the Laravel project and here in public directory copy these folders and paste them here. and open these files in notepad. I am opening this in notepad++. So these are two files which have login and registration form core. And here is our Laravel view file. Now let's create another view file and name it template.blade.php and create another file and this one for login.blade.php so in template.blade.php we will create our page template so copy these lines and paste in template file Let's make some changes here. Now let's create our section yield and let's name it form. Now let's go to our register.blade.php and then we will extend our template which is in folder security and the file name is template and we will create our section here section form and paste those lines here so now our sign up page is ready Now let's go to the login.blade.php and extend it security.template and let's copy our login form lines so these are this is the section of login page copy this and paste it paste it here so now we have completed our login page also so now let's go to our route and create our login page route and let's create this in login controller 
we will not use register controller we will use another controller login so now open up terminal and let's create this login controller in security folder login controller all done so here it's our login controller let's create its method public function login and let's return login view return view security dot login Now let's check our register page. Yes, it's working. And what about login? Yes, it's also working. Hmm, for create an account. Let's create link from register to login and login to register page. So here it is our register page. So URL slash register. And in our login page we will where it is where is the link so here it is so now from login page we will go to our register link and i think i made a mistake in register uh, in register file i created register link so let's go to register page and change this to login Now let's check this. I am already member. Yes. Now these two pages have link. So let's change some fields in our registration page. So let's change name and ID of our registration page for password and password confirmation. And this registration I am not using first name and last name so we have to modify our user model so we have to modify it go to migration file and change the structure of our table So go to the database folder and then migration here is our migration file and the user table so where it is where is first name and last name so here it is first name and last name I am removing this line and I am also changing this to name. Now let's migrate this PHP artisan migrate refresh. It migrated our tables. Now let's go to the folder config and let's check the occurrence list sentinel file and the users model the users model is in cartilis sentinel users eloquent user so we have to open this file so let's go to the folder vendor and in vendor folder we have cartilis sentinel 
source and then where is users here it is and now allocant user.php so now this is the place where is it's defining the table and the fields email password first name last name and permission we don't we are not using first name so remove this and we are also not using last name we are using name please remember that whatever changes you made in migration you have to change in model also so this is the migration file and this is the fill label according to the migration according to the table so please remember if you change anything here then you have to change in model also and now one more thing this form is posting but we don't have any url let's assign it url action is equals to now we will post this data to our registered url So let's create a route for our post register. So now let's create its method public function register user. it will get the data so we will use request term and die so this is our form let's fill it Wow. I forgot one thing in our register file. And here after this form line we have to write CSRF field. Laravel makes it easy to protect our application from cross site request forgery. CSRF attacks laravel automatically generates a csrf token for each active user session managed by the application this token is used to verify that the authenticated user is the one actually making the request to the application so now let's go back to our registration form And now this data so the we can see our data in request array so this is the request so let's see so we have complete data here so now let's create our method for registering user we have to use sentinel first so on the top we will write use sentinel and let's create a variable name user is equals to sentinel we will not only register our user at this time but also activate this user so sentinel register and activate and then request all
and then we can do a lot of things here we can also dump the user variable and we can also say also print a message like user registered or we can redirect to our login page or home page redirect and the URL slash so let's save this and let's go to our URL refresh this so let's go to php my admin let's open php my admin go to the database learning and the users table and now we have this it created a user for us and where is activation table yes the activations and it activated the user so thank you for watching this lecture and i will see you in the next one in which we will so in the next lecture we will log in our user and then and after login then we will perform this activation process see you there bye bye